why can a husband beat his wife if she does wrong but the wife versa is not allowed if the husband does wrong can his wife beat him brother zidan is referring to the verse of the quran of surah nisa chapter 4 verse number 34 which says that ar rijalu qawwamun ala nisa that the man is the protector of the woman is the qawwam of the woman and allah has given him more strength than the other and he supports her from his means <clears throat> and the verse continues that the wife should be obedient and should guard herself and when the husband is away she should see to it that she protects herself and if the wife is disloyal then you should warn her after that you should stop sharing bed with her and as a last resort you can beat her lightly the arabic word is daraba meaning beat her lightly so in the full context that you read of this quran of surah nisa chapter 4 verse number 34 it says that ar rijalu qawwamun ala nisa that the man is the protector of the woman for allah has given him more strength than the other and he and he supports her from his means and the wife is supposed to be loyal and should guard her chastity and if the husband goes away she should protect herself if she is disloyal then the husband should warn her later on he should stop sharing bed with her as a last resort he can beat her lightly now here the arabic word daraba means beat lightly does not mean you can beat your wife black and blue the prophet said there are conditions that you cannot beat her on the face you should beat her lightly you should not beat in such a way that there are marks left on the body and the example the prophet gave is like beating with a miswak a miswak is a toothbrush in english i will say beating with handkerchief so it's more of a symbolic beating so this beating what the quran refers to is daraba meaning beating lightly it's a symbolic beating it is not a beating which will cause physical pain because the prophet said don't beat on the face because even if you beat on the face it may hurt don't beat in such a way that leaves a mark on the body somewhat like with a miswak a toothbrush it means it is symbolic beating for example if a student makes a mistake the teacher may call and give a light slap on the face if the teacher gives a light slap on the face no problem but if the teacher gives a tight slap and if the mark come on the cheek surely the person can go and complain if the teacher hits with a cane and a pain is inflicted he can very well in most of the countries he can go and complain but if it is a mild slap there will be no action taken against the teacher but that mild slap is more of an insult when the student is called in front of all the other students and given a slap the pain is not there but it is a warning i'm talking about in the primary school so similarly when the husband first gives a warning like a teacher tells to the student don't do mischief may warn then as a last resort may beat but it is beating lightly is permitted in most of the schools today beating if you thrash a child the child can go and complain to the police and the teacher will be in problem so similarly in islam it is not permitted at all if someone does it it is wrong he can beat lightly it's more of a symbolic beating so this quran permission given by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the man can beat the wife lightly is a symbolic beating means this is ultimatum and then we part ways and the next verse talks about the procedure that you know if you want to divorce then have an arbiter between one from the husband side one from the wife side so there is the ultimatum after this we cannot stay together now coming to the question that okay light beating now can if a husband makes a mistake can the wife beat the husband okay lightly 
What is the answer? You are asking me that if the student makes a mistake and if the teacher gives a slight lap, it is permitted. Tomorrow you will ask me that if the teacher makes a mistake, can the student give a light slap to the teacher? And the answer is no. Why? There are mainly three reasons. Number one reason is that the Quran says and specifies it that the man has got more strength than the woman. So one is because the man is strong. Number two, he provides her from his means, he supports her. And the third main is respect. There are three reasons according to me why a man can beat lightly if she makes a grave mistake. Not a minor mistake, a grave mistake. Disloyalty. Not just, oh, she puts more sugar in, or more salt in, salt in the food, or more sugar in the tea, you can give a light slap. No, it's not permitted. Disloyalty, it's a big problem. And Allah continues in that verse, that if she asks for forgiveness, give her a, please forgive her. Allah is most forgiving and merciful. It says that if she apologizes, you have to forgive her. If she does a grave mistake, when you have gone out and if she has been disloyal, but if she apologizes, forgive her, for Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. So here, there are three reasons why the opposite is not possible. Number one, because of strength. Number two, because the man is more strong than the woman. Number two, is because he provides by the means. And number three is respect. Can the student slap the teacher lightly if she makes a mistake? And the answer is no. Why? Because the teacher normally is elder than the student. Number two, the respect is there. Respect of teacher. If a teacher makes a mistake, a student cannot slap back. Similarly, if a child makes a mistake, a son makes a mistake, a child makes a mistake, and the mother slaps him. Permitted? Permitted. Imagine if the son grows and becomes the adult, 30 years old, and the mother is 50 years old. If the mother makes a mistake, can the son slap her? And the answer is no. Number one is respect. It is nothing to do with sex. Here husband is male, wife is female. Here mother is female, son is male. But the son cannot slap the mother at all. Not even the father. Allah very clearly says in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 23 and 24, that Allah has ordained for you that you worship none but Allah. And that you be kind to your parents. In travail upon travail, that Allah has ordained for you that you worship none but Him, and that you be kind to your parents. And if one of them or both of them reach old age, do not say a word of contempt. Don't say off to them. But address them with honor and pray to the Lord that cherish them as the cherish me childhood. That means if your parents reach old age, Whatever they do, you can't even say off to them, leave aside slapping them because this is the respect the parents deserve. The son may be a male, the mother is a female. When a person asks the Prophet that who deserves the maximum love and companionship in this world, the Prophet said your mother. Then after that who? The Prophet said your mother. The man asked after that who? For the third time the Prophet said your mother. The man asked after that who? Then the Prophet said for the fourth time your father. That means the mother gets the gold medal, she gets the silver medal, she gets the bronze medal. The father has to be satisfied with the mere consolation prize. So where it comes to respect in the parents, the mother has gets 75%, three times more as compared to the father. This is Islam. It is nothing like because of sex difference, the husband can beat, the wife cannot beat, because the husband is the leader in the family. He is the Quba. He protects, he provides. He deserves respect. Similarly, a son cannot beat the father, cannot beat the mother. The Prophet said, paradise lies beneath the feet of the mother. So in no way, whatever mistake the mother does, the son cannot beat the mother at all. Similarly, where it comes to husband and wife, the wife has to respect the husband. The Prophet said that if Allah would have permitted the prostration to anyone after Allah, it would have been the husband for the wife. 
This hadith. That means prostration to anyone besides Allah is prohibited. But if Allah would have permitted to the woman, Allah would have permitted prostration to the husband. That means that's the respect. So if the husband makes a mis mistake, you cannot retaliate. Yes, you can say with kind words, you can explain to him, quote the Quranic verse, quote the hadith, but there's no question of doing daraba or even beating lightly. Because number one is respect, the most important. Number two, he's physically more strong. He will hit back. If a student in the primary school goes to slap the teacher, the teacher will give a tight slap back. He is more powerful. He is more strong. Number three, he is providing the means. Number one is respect is the most important. Then will come, he is the kawam, he is the one who protects. Then will come, he supplies. So there are various reasons why always the vice versa is not true. So this is mainly in the feminist world where they talk about women's right. When they talk about women's right, what they are doing, they are actually degrading the women. They are utilizing a woman. And I have given the talk on women's rights in more detail. But these are the rules set down by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is best. He is our creator. He knows us best. And I hope this logically answers the question.